Welcome to Easy Limo Learning Simplified. My name is Eric. I'll be taking you through this topic squares and square roots. And for this lesson, I'm going to look at square roots of numbers from tables. So we have looked at the, the square roots of numbers. Uh, previously, how we find the square roots of numbers using other methods like prime factorization method. Of course, you were able to see what a square root of a number is. Well, you are able to see how you find the square roots of numbers using prime factorization method. And uh, now we want to see how you are able to find the square root, uh, the square roots of numbers from the tables of square roots. Uh, in the four figure mathematical table, one of the, the tables is called tables of, of square roots of numbers. This is a table that is basically containing the, the square roots of numbers. For example, if you have a number, and you want to find its square root, you are able to get into the table and uh, and 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 uh, be able to read the square root of that number from the table. So for this lesson, we are going to focus on finding the square roots of numbers that are between 1 and 10 only, the numbers that are less than 10 and either equal to or, or greater than 1, the numbers that are ranging from 1 all the way up to 9.99, 9.99 there. So that is what we are going to look at uh, within this lesson. And of course, we'll be having some few sample questions just to help us, us illustrate and see how that can be done. And then, of course, at the end of the lesson, we'll give you some assignment just to help you practice and just to help gauge on your understanding of the concepts as discussed during this lesson. So the, the tables of square roots are we are able to find the square roots of numbers ranging from 1 all the way up to 99.99. We are able to do that. Uh, so if you have numbers that are not within that range, then there is how we are supposed to modify them. You see numbers like uh, so we have uh, this number here is between uh, is within that range. But let's, let's, let's see this number here. It's, it's outside the range. So there is a way we are going to modify the number so that we are still able to find this, this, the square root of, of such a number using the using tables of square roots. So that is what you're going to do possibly in the, in the next lessons. But for this lesson, we are going to restrict ourselves to those numbers just between 1 and 10 only. You see, you see this one is also outside the range of 1 to 99.9. So there is a way we can still modify them, but the, the tables of square roots has uh, they they have square roots of numbers all the way from one to ninety nine point nine nine, and you can read them directly from the table. You see, so we're going to see how that can be done. So we have our first example here. Use tables of square roots to evaluate the following, and the first one is one point one point one one. So you see this number here, just like we we read the the tables of, of, of I mean square root of squares of numbers, the approach is still the same. Only that now here we are finding this the square root of, 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 of these numbers. We are finding a number that we need to square to to get this one here, you know, to arrive at that. So the square root of 1.11. How do you find it from the table? So just like the tables of square, this square tables of square roots still has three major columns, starting with the column headed x, and then there is the main column ranging from zero to nine, and then there is the differences column. So this this column here we call it main column. This way we're going to get the square roots. See all these like this is a square root of a number. This one is a square root of another number. This is a square root of another number. You see this way we're getting the square root. This call this we call it the main column. This way we're getting the square roots of numbers. This one is, is called uh, differences column. Differences. Differences column. So the approach is still the same. We still use the first two digits to because we already did this when you are discussing about squares of numbers from tables. So the first two digits we still check from the column headed. X. So you move up to 1.1. You can see 1.1 is right over here. 
then you move across until you get to to the next digit which is one so the point of intersection of the column and the row will give us the square root of 1.11 which is uh, so here you can see now these other ones the starting from one to the way these columns we don't have the number starting from starting with zero point ideally you'll be using the first the first column here this column here to help you gauge what these ones these other ones are supposed to be for example this row here the value here starts with one point so it means all of them are supposed to be one point for example this one is going to be 1.01001.1.0198 so all of them are starting with one point like this other one is going to be 1.0488 this one is going to be 1.00536 so 1.00536 as the square root of the number 1.11 so you see there is nothing remaining so it means we will not continue to the differences column will not continue the difference column so there's nothing remaining here you already got the square root of 1.1 which we got it from here and then we moved to the next digit which is 1 so 1.11 the square root is just this one here so that's how you're able to read the square root of that number from the table now this other one here you see now this is this this table is called four figure mathematical table so if you have numbers that are, are having more than four figures, then you still have to round them off to, to four figures. Like this one, you count one, two, three, four, then you draw the cutoff line. Look at the digit after the cutoff line. If it falls in the category of five or more, increase this digit before by one. That is basically rounding off. So it means this is going to be the square root of 1.2555, because this digit falls in that category of five or more. So it means the digit before the cutoff line, you're supposed to increase it by one from four to five. So 5-5 five, five instead of 5-4. And of course, you normally reduce these digits after the cutoff line to zeros. But the last zero here, you know, when you have a decimal point, the last zeros, they don't count that much, so you can ignore them. That's why I've not included it here in the square root. So then, these first two digits, we read them from the first column, the column headed X. So that is 1.2. You can see 1.2 here. Then you move across until you get to the next digit, which is five so we move up to digit number five so column five so where that column is meeting the row you know we have identified the first two digits as 1.2 you move across until we get to the next column headed by the next digit which is five so where that column is meeting the row that is supposed to be the square root of the number 1.25 so this one is what we're calling the difference so you have 11 Actually, now, remember, this this one here starts with one point. So even this, the one we have highlighted here, is supposed to start with all the digits along that row are supposed to be, all the numbers along that row are supposed to start with one point. So this is going to be 1.1180. So we have 1.1180. But then now, there is this number still remaining. This is what we're calling the difference. The five there still means so continue up to the differences column. Up to, up to the digit, up to the column headed by the digit here. So that is column headed five. So we move up to column five. And you see, what are we getting there? 22. So see the way I'm adding that 22 to this number here. So you add to the last digits, you know. So that is going to be two, zero. Carry one, two, one, and then point one. So this becomes the square root of 1.255. Uh, That's how you get the square root of 1.255. Uh, supposed to be 1.1202. It means this is the number here. The, the number here is the number that we need to square to arrive at the number 1.255. Uh, so basically, that is what you're supposed to do. Let's see one more. So we have this one here again this has more than four figures so you still have to round it off first so as you round it off you have uh, 1.398 you know you draw the cutoff line you count four figures one two three four then you draw the cutoff line the digit after the cutoff line it is five or more increase the digit before the cutoff line by one if it is not leave the digit before the cutoff line just the way it is like this 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 is less than five so nothing happens to the digit before 
And of course, once you're done with that process of rounding off, the digits of the cutoff line is supposed to be reduced to zeros. But then even after reducing this to zero, the last zeros, when you have a decimal point, normally they don't count that much, so you can as well ignore them. So I simply ignore them, you know. So you simply ignore that last zero. So I will only write 1.398. So this is going to be, so the first two digits, again, we check from the column headed X, move until 1.1.3. 1. 1. And then you move across that row, across that row, until you get to the column headed by the next digit, 9. So you move up to column number 9. Column number 9 is here. You can see this column number 9 is here. So this is what is supposed to be the square root of 1.39. So remember all the rows, all the numbers along this row here, are supposed to start with one point. So that is going to be 1.1790. 1, 1790. But then there is this 8 still remaining. That's what we're calling the difference. So move with it. Move with that row. Move along that row until you can continue to the differences column until you get to the column headed 8. Next digit. So number 8 is here. So 34 is there. So this is 3, 4. And you now add. And take note of the way we are adding the differences number. We add it to the last digit. So then you add, you get 4, 12, 2, carry 1, 8, 1. So 1.1824. This becomes the square root of the number 1.398. So if you square 1.1824 approximately, it's equal to the number that is inside the root. So that marks the end of uh, the lesson. You can attempt the given uh, problems. You can always be posting the responses on the comment section. We look at them and then you'll be able to give feedback in the due course uh, accordingly. Otherwise, that is all for, for now. Until next time, goodbye.